Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really not in. I'm really like first of all, I really want to like apologize to you guys that I've been not posting a lot very lately. But I want to tell you guys. I want to like some of my. Uh, I want to say that to all the SPM out there, congratulations. No matter what your exam, uh, your grade is it's not reflecting who you are whatsoever for me personally from uh from who really have suffered a lot with um grades and uh, academic achiever it doesn't define you at all once you go to university it's it like you're in you're gonna show yourself who you are it's nothing it's not the time you play games anymore and you probably realize that it's not it, it's not in the end yet you have a lot of journeys to go to and i want to tell you guys the story that no matter what's happened in your life you need to move on you need to move on no matter what your life is so much precious to waste on so you know what else to waste you're just this close away to achieving your goal and the small things happen in your life and you just want to dump it all out? No. This is the time that you need to understand that what are the most strong or your what is the most strong skill that you have. The the the, the least skill that you need to like avoid it. Find your niche, find your passion, find what you really love and try to adapt around it. For me, for example, if I really love uh, psychology or I really really love architecture I'm gonna choose I'm not I, I, I do gonna say that I'm neither do I need to choose both but you need to choose so I think about uh, like a lot of things I really do really love passion a lot about architecture because I do really, really love designing stuff I do look I when I was um, in my high school I take uh, Sydney just for just uh, art, art class just to forward myself to somewhere that I really can be in the future. For me personally, I for me personally before this, I am an accountant and mathematics at math student. When I was on five, like during COVID, I just like oh my god. First of all, is it's not that hard. I just can ace everything out. Like I was the one. For me personally, at math is my fucking game. Like this is just easy math. I always like I always in front of the class. I was just like okay. Um, for me in my class it's like um, mathematics is an optional who goes who can take economic or tech at math so I take at math so all of my economic friends are going I was the one who's sitting in front I'm learning a lot of things quick quick and I understand like every single time that sir give me an example I can do uh, 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 exercise I can do it every one every every time I want like it's that easy but what I choose Sydney because I my class my school don't uh you know I don't I don't really want to put a hassle of like adding more costs and, and more things into my course where I just got get out of it okay and then that's the story when I was one five I'm like le relearning Perniagaan which like um really not that difficult for me personally I want to say it's not that difficult it's quite difficult for a person like. Uh, who really don't have a background in Pernyagaan for me I do my mom is a business so I just can like okay I can relate to it and also I have uh, account uh, background so I really have like this huge huge thing in my back so it's just like relating relating and then like I just like learning a new stuff which relating to that make it easier to me if you if you make sense if you if you see what I mean but that's what's the perp that is what I want to say to you guys it doesn't and then like I okay, this is a not a whole other topic I'm gonna talk about. Maybe a little soon. But I wanna tell you guys that no matter what, exam SM is not an indicator of your life. You need to start somewhere. For me, I wanna say to you guys like I need to choose both, whether it's psychology or architecture. First I take psychology. My friends always push me to psychology. Um, I wanna go I and my friend go to um I go to university saying taking a human science because like human science can go to psychology i going that by going that i just realized that like 
I really miss art. I really love art. Why I just like why I do this? So I just change into architecture, and I really love architecture. The fact that like, most of it is the first like a whole stamp is like quite lonely because like people already find ahead of of me. But I'm ad- starting to adapt, and I was like, okay, what am I, what is architecture? Is really hard. Like this is difficult, and like one course really stood out for me is urban planning. Like urban planning is really good because like it's also related to human. So really loving like this type of like. Learning human behavior, learning something that like can change, uh, someone's behavior like oh, it's a, it's like a different 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 type of things, but related to two things other things like architecture relate to urban planning, psychology relate to urban planning, safe uh political relate to urban planning like a lot of things like it's crazy, like I want to tell you a lot of things about urban planning but. That's a whole another topic. But if you guys want to know, check it out. Check it out. Like, like hit me up if I want to know about more about her. But this, uh, what is urban planning and whatnot? Because like, I do study it, it now, so I can just like spill the tea all about it. But I want to say, yeah, do what you want to do. This is your life. You live once. See. <laughs>